Have you ever tried playing a Resident Evil game in co-op? This has to be my least favorite layout for local split screen. It's not so much how small each screen is that bothers me, it's the fact that there's all this wasted space. It really bugs me for some reason. Only a few Resident Evil games feature local co-op, and if you can get over the layout of the two screens, a good amount of fun can be had playing these games. We recently played through Revelations 2, and overall we mostly enjoyed our time, but we definitely have our criticisms. The main one is that only player one can actually use guns. Player two plays as either Moira or Natalia, and they're both pretty helpless. Moira is afraid of guns, but at least she has a crowbar she can use to smack enemies. Natalia is a kid, so all she can do is point. It's close, but okay, I'm exaggerating, but only just a little. Natalia can pick up a brick and use it as a weapon, but it breaks after like three hits. Either those are some weak bricks, or the girl must hit pretty hard. The co-op experience just isn't very balanced. Player 2 is a companion character that helps out and gets to solve puzzles and stuff, but they just don't get the same full experience that Player 1 gets. It seems like we run into this problem constantly with games that have optional co-op modes, so it's not necessarily surprising, but it is a bummer. Still, if you're looking for an action or horror game to play in co-op, Resident Evil Revelations 2 is a decent choice, especially when you consider that there aren't many co-op games in this genre. There are definitely better co-op games out there, but I'll admit that Resident Evil games do have a certain charm about them that you just can't find anywhere else. So even if it's not the best game ever, Revelations 2 does provide an opportunity to share the RE experience with someone else.